Um, Mr. Chairman and, and Mr. Kelly, you may want to clarify those statements because uh, a family member serves alongside a service member too, especially a Gold Star family. And uh, and if you don't believe that, then go talk to the Gold Star families themselves because Mr. Tuberville is part of that Gold Star family. And, and you know, comment Senator, there, but I'm just Senator, saying, I appreciate. No, no, I'm I, not yelling time. I'm just saying you may want to clarify that statement. Well, I can clarify it right now. I, I know, but it's my time. Um, Mr. Chalet, you have made several ta comments talking about the Biden administration's withdrawal and the success of it. Um, obviously, I have some serious concerns about that. Uh, first of all, has anybody been uh, held accountable for the disastrous withdrawal that took place, considering the American lives that were lost and how many Americans we left behind? Uh, Senator Mullen, thank you for the question, and thank you for the time uh, in your office the other week. And I genuinely- I, I just, I just, I'm short on time. I just didn't know, has anybody been held accountable? Senator, accountability is critically important. Is no, it? I'm just saying, has anybody been held accountable? That's a simple one. It's a yes or it's a no. Senator, we have get, tried to learn the lessons from Has that. Has anybody been held accountable? Senator, we've tried to learn the lessons from that withdrawal I, and apply just, those lessons no, today. So that's a no. Just is that a no? No one's been held accountable. We have tried to learn those lessons. So no one's been held accountable? We've tried to learn those okay, lessons. Okay, so, well, it's not hard to really learn lessons, especially when you do a good debrief. Uh, I, 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 in fact, when I talked to you about it in my office, you said, well, the chips need to lie where they may. That was your comments when I was talking to you about about the about the accountability because if we don't learn lessons then we'll we're we're definitely determined to make those same mistakes again uh, several times secretary blinken and this administration lied uh, when they said that every american that wanted out uh, got out do you believe those statements were accurate uh senator i do oh you do well then why was there hundreds of americans that got out and by the way the night of the of the 29th uh the 28th and 20 and the 30th, I was, I was assisting trying to get those Americans out when you guys said that every American that wanted out could get out. But the truth is the Abbey Gate after the bombing, HKI was closed and you know this as a fact. No one was getting in to HKI. They were getting turned around, turned away. In fact, the morning of the 30th, um, and this is recorded on your hotline that you set up for Afghanistan, I was asked, because I had a three-year-old girl, plus I had Miriam and her three children, uh, plus a whole host of other people that we were trying to get in. And all night of the 29th, you guys were taking me from gate to gate to gate to gate to gate to gate to gate, trying to get these individuals in HKIA. And all that had to be said was that you guys had to call over the gate and ask for them because we were dealing with the Taliban. And see, the Taliban, ironically enough, if we paid them enough money, we could get Americans out. But the State Department was stopping us every step of the way. And so the morning of the 30th, your employee at the State Department asked me personally, do you have another way to get them out? Because we've closed the airport. And so for you to sit there and say that every American wanted to, get, wanted to get out, you're absolutely lying. And you know that to be factual and you say it with a straight face. What's bad is that three-year-old girl we're trying to get out died a few days later from a leg infection, and you all knew about it because I sent you pictures of it that's still on my phone, which is why I said it was important that we got her out through HKI because she needed serious medical attention. By the way, this wasn't a refugee. This was an American citizen, and her parents were American citizens, and you all knew this to be factual. And then when we drive her across the country and we get her to the border to Chikistan, your ambassador, Ambassador Promagine, which this is also recorded, told me personally, I was told by Washington, D.C. not to assist you in any way. Who told him that? Uh, S Senator, thanks for the question. And no, no, I don't want to know who told him that. I don't have much time. I don't want you to, I don't want you to try to get around it. Who told him that? Senator, I, I don't know the details. Of well, the episode. State Department said it. Has he been held accountable? Because that three-year-old died because of her leg infection before we get her across the border. Senator, again, I, I appreciate what you did to help. No, I don't want that. Others. I don't need that. I don't need that. I want accountability. I want someone to be held accountable. Because you know what happened after that three-year-old girl died and I called you guys and I said that she died? I hung up the phone and we went black as a team and we quit communicating with you. 
And three days later, you guys, the State Department, released my photo and my approximate location to the Washington Post and said I was lost in Afghanistan with a bag of cash and never called my family to see if that was true. Never called my wife. You guys released it to a political rag and they ran it and they put my life in serious danger, including the entire team that was trying to get the Americans out that you guys left behind. And not one single person has been held accountable. And then when Miriam and her three kids from Arlington or from Amarillo, Texas, when we finally got them out across the border of Tajikistan, without your all's help, because you guys refused to help us, because you told the ambassador not to assist us anyway, Secretary Blinken, the person you was advising, goes to the podium and says, the State Department has successfully negotiated to get the first Americans out since the fall of Afghanistan. I didn't know you guys were there when she had a gun held to her hand with her two-year-old in her arms. And she started puking because she was so scared. I didn't know you guys were helping that. I didn't know you guys were making a single phone call. I didn't know you guys were there paying off the Taliban with that bag of cash that you said I had in the hands. I didn't know you guys were there. And you're going to tell me that you can't say if someone's been held accountable or not? Senator Mullen, your time's expired. There's a problem here. And there's zero chance I support you moving forward.